So called the fresh embryo transfer, which means uh, during the, uh, the egg retrieval cycle, and uh, uh, either day two, day three, or day five, uh, after fertilization, we transfer embryo back to the uterus on the same cycle. And uh, so called frozen embryo transfer, which means uh, after uh, egg fertilized and the call to day three or day five, we freeze this embryo and then transfer those embryo on the following cycle. So the differences are uh, these two are obviously one is uh, with a frozen, another without a frozen. And in the past, and the people always using fresh embryo transfer. The reason because of uh, the frozen technology was not uh, uh, optimal. So many embryo may not able to survive freeze and thaw process. But now, because uh, uh, the freezing technology is uh, very optimal, and we're using vitrification, the embryo can have almost the 99 to 100% survival rate from freeze and thaw process. And most centers are starting to do a frozen embryo transfer. And one key thing between fresh and frozen transfer is during fresh cycle transfer, and because of the hormonal level is very high because of using stimulation, and the estradiol level is super physiological. So those super physiological hormone level may not be the optimal environment for embryo transfer. And plus, sometimes during fresh cycle use medication, such as clomiphene, tamoxifen, or letrozole, or some other granular choppings, those medications may also have a side effect, which is not an optimal condition for transfer. So because of the vitrification, and the now freezing no longer be issue, and the more and the more advanced centers converting to the frozen embryo transfer because that have a better results of pregnancy.